The post-holiday shop rush is now on. A new survey from the National Retail Federation survey found about 70% of consumers, they plan to shop in the coming days. Some of you watching have probably already done a little shopping today. Most want to take advantage of, that, of those after Christmas sales and spend their newly acquired gift cards. And so that means stores are also expecting a rush of returns as people try to get rid of those unwanted gifts. WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer spoke with shoppers at the Rentham Outlets today. A crazy busy day here at the Rentham Village Premium Outlets with people packing into stores to make those returns and exchanges and spend a little bit of their Christmas money. What we can tell you is we spoke to a retail expert who said if you do have any returns, the earlier the better because it could be harder to return those unwanted gifts this year. I think today would be the busiest day for returns. A busy day at the outlets the day after Christmas after a weekend of gift giving and opening lots of presents. We actually had to do some returns um, and then just doing some shopping. Nikki Buchanan is in town visiting family, spending some new gift cards and Christmas money that she was gifted. I'm here to, you know, stimulate the economy. But long lines greeted Buchanan and thousands of other shoppers making their returns on the busiest return week of the year. Would you guys mind waiting in the line some more? I actually do mind, but since my cousin, she loves Gucci, I'm, I don't mind waiting in this particular line. But when I walked over to Uggs, it was like four times longer, and I was like, goodbye. That's the line that Kim Canty from Webster waited in this afternoon. We have come 45 minutes, so we're going to wait here until till we do it. Hoping to get her daughter the right pair of boots after getting the wrong size. And I'm getting mother of the year because I'm staying in this long line. They're not even for me. Retail expert Ken Morris says it's a good thing these shoppers are returning their items early with less extended return policies this holiday season. People are lowering the number of days. According to the National Retail Federation, retailers expect almost 18% of merchandise sold during the holiday season to be returned. And for the first time, online returns are expected to be in line with in-store returns this year, with online sales up two percentage points, according to Morris. That's increasing the amount of returns uh, because online returns make up between 30 and 35 percent of everything that's purchased. And those online returns are no longer free, so you may see more people hitting the stores. Free returns for online purchases, how long can that continue before it, 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 uh, uh, it doesn't make any sense? Uh, you know, you can't make money if you're a 35 percent return rate. And, uh, and you're giving free everything. We're spending time with friends and eating good food and, you know, hanging out with our family. For these shoppers in Rentham, braving the busy stores is all worth it when the day and week is spent enjoying loved ones, what the holiday season is really all about. The National Retail Federation says the cost of these holiday returns is about $171 billion. In Rentham, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.